We're kicking things straight off with a bit of a peek at a new Mixer Interactivity game called Hyper Sentinel. Now, if you hung out before the show, you might have had a chance to interact with the game. We were playing it here, yeah? Yes, yes. And as a special treat, we have Huey Game CEO Rob Hewson on Skype to talk to us about the game. Welcome, Rob. How you doing? Rob? Hi, guys. Yeah, I'm great. How are you? Uh, doing great. I get to be here with you talking Hyper Sentinel. That's, it's, there's better ways, or not so many better ways, I should say, to spend a work day than hanging out and doing this. Oh, I, I cannot agree more. Uh, so, Rob, real quick, what is Hyper Sentinel for those people who do not know? So Hyper Sentinel is the world's first interactive live stream arcade game. So it's got that proper old school arcade pick up and play action. But of course, with the cutting edge uh, of Mixer, bringing interactivity right into it. So you can actually, it's actually divided into two teams. So you can be on the attacker's team, clicking buttons to send asteroids and enemies in, or on the defender's team, throwing in power-ups and shields to, to help the streamer. That's, I mean, I was watching it go by here. First of all, that old school arcade bit really hits home. Because I remember like doing my laundry, the coin-op laundries, and sitting there playing arcade games. And I'm watching the ships go by, and I was like, oh, this takes me back. Yeah, Absolutely no, takes me back. Yeah, for sure. Now, so one of the things is, is like, as we were watching this a little bit earlier, and, and like you said, you have the interactivity down at the bottom. How do you get to choose? Like, is it just, it's up to the streamer whether they're going to be attacker or defender, pretty much? I mean, up to the, the, the viewer, I mean. Uh, no, so the, the viewers will get uh, allotted either into the attacker's team or into the defender's team oh. as soon as the game begins. And then um, there's obviously a group of viewers, because there's 20 per team maximum. And then there's a group of viewers who are then in the queue to join a team. So uh, the game sessions uh, turn around uh, pretty quickly, uh, you know, a few minutes. And then the people in the queue will then drop, uh, go into one of those teams. Um, and you'll notice as well that we've... Yeah, absolutely. And, and we've got the top five attackers uh, and the top five defenders displayed on screen so you can see, you know, how you're doing against uh, against your uh, friends. OK. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about, like, how this idea came about? Where, where, what's the origin of the title? Yeah, sure. So Hyper Sentinel uh, is created by uh, Jonathan Port, was the original developer. Uh, and uh, he wanted to he had this idea of creating a game which really brought back his memories of how games were back in the 8-bit era. And we got involved and said, let's team up. This looks awesome. Uh, let's work together on this, really polish it up and get it out there. Uh, and then Mixer Mode came along actually uh, after we were already developing the game. We just, we, you know, we heard about Mixer, we looked into it and we thought, this is awesome. We could do something really cool here and actually have real-time interactivity in an arcade game for the first time ever and uh yeah we spoke to you know got in touch with every, all the guys at mixer and they've been amazing and it's it's all gone from there so you talk about development of this game am i to believe that this game is not out yet but is launching relatively soon it is launching on the 11th of may uh on steam ps4 xbox one nintendo switch um, so yeah, we're in a couple of weeks from now, we're going to be all playing this. <laughs> I, he just listed off every, pretty much every <laughs> single platform that you possibly could. So, I, I mean, I have to ask, are you mad? Like, are you really bringing this game to every single platform? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course. We want as many people as possible to play this game. So we've worked really hard. It was funded on Kickstarter. So a big shout out to all our Kickstarter backers. I know some of them are watching the show. Um, you know, we really wanted to work hard to get it on as many platforms as possible and um, let everyone experience it. Now, you you actually had some stretch goals as well, right, that you guys, and, and all of those came in, and some of that's like uh, the retro, like Commodore 64 coloring and all of that. What, what other stuff did you guys get in uh, with this as well? Yeah, so as you say, our stretch goals included survival mode, uh, which is a single player endless mode, which then actually mixer mode uh, sort of came out of. So it's an adaptation of that. Uh, we hit that stretch goal. We hit the Commodore 64 graphics. We hit Spectrum graphics. We've got CRT graphics in there to give you that kind of curved screen and the, the kind of chunky pixels, just like you're back in the arcade. Um, boss run mode as well, so you get to battle against all the single player bosses. So those were some of the stretch goals uh, from the Kickstarter campaign. And I think the thing that's super funny is I think a lot of people, when they think about going back and doing that old school graphics, right? Like you had to do a bunch of post processing and stuff like that. Like it actually took work to make it look old school, which I thought was kind of cool when I was going back and like watching some of your old videos and stuff. It, it, it looks straight hot. It, it looks awesome. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. 
so one of the things that you know this is tips and tricks, mm -hmm. Rikari. Yeah. yeah. And so one believe of the things, not. yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, tips and tricks. I know uh, different hosts, but same same long time show. Uh, question: Given tips and tricks, what are some tips and tricks you could give people about this game, giving it's coming out so soon? Okay, so it's that classic, easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master uh, that we've been going for. So every mechanic in the game, uh, so you've got the boost mechanic, for example, uh, the dodging. So everything has multiple layers of depth. So when you hold down the boost, you can escape from danger when your health's slow, you can chase after power-ups, but also it acts as kind of a vacuum to hoover up those power-ups. So if you just tap the boost, you can actually hoover up power-ups much more quickly. Um, similarly, when you change direction, you'll see the ship does that, that lovely kind of uh, uh, that roll maneuver, uh, barrel roll. And that actually acts as a dodge. If you time it right, you will dodge the bullets and dodge the enemies. And that's really important to kind of get your skill up uh, in the game. So there's lots of different layers of depth that you will discover as you go through, as you go through the game. I love the Tabs was over here demonstrating that right yeah. as it was going on because he, he could definitely hear it. He's actually gotten better since you started talking, right? Like just hearing the tips and whatever. Like he was like basically pulling off the moves. Um, you know, we still have low expectations. We've just seen him play some <laughs> other games. But all in all, like he, he is making it look good. So like you have improved, uh, you know, not only for the, the viewers we have right near, but also Tabs as well. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Last but not least, stuff. give us give us the plug. Let us know where we can uh, where well everyone can find more information. <laughs> I was going to say we, but it's not about us. It's about everyone, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's just hypersentinel.com. That's the game website. Uh, obviously, you can go on there. You can check out uh, all of our videos up there. We're going to be posting lots of stuff on social media, Huey underscore games on Twitter, sharing everything we can. And of course, we're going to be hosting some aw awesome uh, Mixer interactive uh, sessions so people can get in there, start chucking asteroids and rockets at us, you know, really, uh, you know, get in there and start killing the streamers. Awesome. Well, I, I want to say thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm excited to watch all my viewers basically have their names as they basically kill me show up on the <laughs> screen there. I know it'll happen. They'll take a lot of pleasure into, into ending me, and I know those of you watching are thinking that right now. But uh, thank you so much for your time this afternoon, and uh, we'll let you get back to it. And we're excited to see it on uh, May 11th. Thank you very much, guys.